Hello and welcome back to V8 Tech Work. So today we are going to continue building our application. And in the last video, we looked at uh, this home page here. We created the nav bar. We created this home page that has a nav bar and also this text and image and also our footer here. So today we are going to continue building our login page. You can see we have our login page here. And uh, then also I'm going to create the my parcels. Uh, page and then in the other video now i'm be completing working on our front end so that in the other video now we integrate and then the project will be over so now what we are going to do as we are doing in every video when you are starting a new video what we are going to do is to push our code and i'll open my terminal here and uh, do git add so i'm going to add any code that we added in the last video so if you check here the branches so if i do git branch you'll be able to see that right now we are working on this branch that is called front end so let me do now the adding of my the code that i added so git here add and then git commit and then here i can add a comment let me say something like started working on our front end on our front end just like that and then if i comment this now i can push but now because i'm working on my front end i need to uh, to just push the front end branch so let's try and do that so here also i need to do sub, uh, my passphrase that is so let me do that so if i do that then i'm going to push now the code so I think, uh, yeah, I think we have pushed the code and uh, maybe create a pull request for front end by visiting. So you can see already here that uh, it is showing us how to be able to, to do the pull request. So I'm going to make sure that I, I copy this. So let me copy that and then paste it here and uh, we should be redirected to this, uh, uh, to this one here. So this project here. So I don't, I don't know it is checking for ability to merge. So already I can create pull requests and then it would be merged. So then if you haven't or you don't understand what you are doing, kindly go back and watch the other videos so that when you come right here, you'll be able to understand what you are doing. So here we are going to merge, uh, confirm merge and then it will be over. So, and then that is it. So I'm not going to insight and then network because we have done that in data videos. So that is what we was we are supposed to start with. Now, the other thing that I want to add you is that I noticed like 80% of those people watching my video are, have not subscribed. So kindly, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like this video so that it may reach other people who want to learn Manstack and uh, coding in general. So uh, now the other thing that you can do is to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. So now let's get into the project. So this is our project where we left. And also if I click login here, you can see we don't have a login because this is where now we need to start creating or to continue creating our project. So I'm going to get into my project here in this code. And uh, now I can cross the home page because already we have built our home page. And then I can go to, let me see here to the pages and then login here. So here, this is where I'm going to create that. So the first thing that I need to do, I'm going to delete this text here saying login. And then here we can be able now to start styling it the way we want. So if I visit now the login page here, you'll be able to see that we have we have our nav bar and also we have our footer. And the other thing that we have right there is uh, now the image and this part here that we can enter our inputs here and uh, the input that we enter our email and password. And also you can see here we can turn on the eye and then if you want to see our password while we are logging. So here I'm going to now do that. So let me, let me uh, leave it like that. So I'm going to come here to my code. And the first thing that I need to do is to get my, my nav bar. So nav bar here, right here. 
So I think it should be autocomplete for me, but if it is not autocompleting, so what I can do is that I will import them manually. So here I'm going to do footer like that also. And because here I cannot be able to see the autocompletion, I will be able to import them manually. So this is import footer. So let me start with footer. And then this is from now. Let me just go one just one let me just go higher level into the components and then here i can take the footer and then the other thing now is i can import navbar uh, navbar here and this is from now the components also components and the navbar like that just like that so now if i go back now to my project so let me save this and then go back here. You'll be able to see that we have our footer here and also we have our navbar. So let's now create the other part where we have image and the, that part for logging in where you have input. I'm going to push this also down so that we have a space where we can work in. So let's do that. So to do that here, I'm going to create a div. So this div here, we are going to now make sure that we give it a styling using Tailwind CSS. So the first thing that I want to give is the height. So here I'm going to give it a height of 80 VH. And then the other thing that I'm going to do here is to give a flex. And I'm going to say that uh, also I want them to be aligned at the center, just like that. And then also I'm going to justify and uh, here I want to justify them evenly. The last thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a padding of 50 pixels. And uh, also I think I can add the text to be gray, I think. Or maybe we can just uh, leave it like that, but it's okay. Let's just add that text. So the other thing that I want to do here is, uh, let me have the image now. So I'm going to have the image. So image here, just like that. Here we have now, this uh, what we are calling image and uh, here we need to have a source. So the source here is uh, hero.png, hero.png like that. Also, you can be able to have alt text, so like that. So after that, now inside here also, that means we need to have another div and that this div is the one that holds the inputs. So here, let's do that. So I'm going to have a class name here and this class name, we are going to style it. So here, we, or this div we need to style it. We are going to give it a height of 450 pixels. Then also a width of uh, 400 and, uh, 450 pixels like that. And then we can have the background color. So the background color here, we can have a background. Let me just add the background color here we can give a background color of the yellow color so uh, e9 and then we can have eb and then also we can have 77 just like that so and then also we are going to have a rounded amd so a rounded md just like that also we are going to have now inputs inside here but before that we can just check so here you can be able to see that I have an image here. And also we have this part where we are going to create our inputs and uh, login. So um, here inside here, I'm going to have an input, the first input here. And then this input is about, uh, is a text input. Here I want to give it a class name and style it. So class name here. And uh, I want to make sure that I make sure that I can be able to style it. So I'm going to just uh, start here. So here I want to give it a flex and then I can say items to be center, just like that. And then justify content will be center. And then also I can have a background color of, um, let's add here background color of white. So I have F and then also we can have like a padding, so padding of 20 pixels. The other thing that we need to do is to have a width of, um, let's say 350. 
pixels and uh, here we can have a margin of uh, I'm going to use in percentage so I'm going to add 10% and then outline should be none like just like that so let me check uh, this how this one looks like so if I do that you can be able to see that here we have uh, this uh, input here so here we can add anything that we want so also let me make sure that I enter the or I add placeholder so here we can have a placeholder so a placeholder here I'm going to add enter uh, enter your email enter your email just, just like that and if I come back here you'll be able to see enter your email so I think that's uh, okay also I think inside here I can add something like um, let's say border none so border should be having a border of none just like that and then I think this will be okay so let's meet, let me check so I think this should be okay so I'm going also to copy this because we need another one for password and then here I need also to format first of all the code yeah just like that also now inside here I'm going to have another div that will hold now my input and also the uh, the icons that will display will be displayed when we want to show our password while we are typing so here we are going to have a class name here i'm going to add flex and then here it's item center item center here i'm going to add my input but my input okay this one is screaming at me and i think it's because of this here i think so yeah so here i'm going to format so that it is uh, looking nice so here yes uh here i'm going to add uh, uh put enter your password enter your password and the other thing that i'm going to do here i'm going to change this to password but i'll show you how you are going to make sure that you can be able to see when you're typing so now we have this and then inside here also in this div i want to add something else and i have uh, created it here so it's this uh, span here so let me copy it contains the icons here this eye icon and padlock icon so let me do that so i'm going to add it here just like that so here you can be able to see that uh, we don't have things like uh, show password and handle toggle password and this is because we want to create it uh, we want to create this function that will be able to toggle when you want to see the password and uh, here we can use this variable to control if you if you can be able to see the password or not so i'm going to come here and create that variable so i'm going to have a uh, const and then here uh, here we are going to have uh, use state so let me import use state from react you can be able to see it there we have imported it and in here we are going to give it false to start with and then here we are going to have show password show password you can see it there and then set show password password i think so just like that so set show password and then here i can be i'm going to get now the function so this function here that when we click we toggle uh, our password so i'm going to copy it just like that let me copy it like that and then i'm going to come here and uh, yeah, i think uh, here after now our variable here so our, our state we are going to have a we are going to have a arrow function here so like that so and then here we can be able now to use set show password like that and then another thing is that i'm going to negate now the state so show password like that so if you click it will just toggle just like that so if you click on uh, if you click if this is false it will be true and if you click also again it will be uh, it will be false so if i do that let me just now show you in this application here you can be able to see that we have this uh, padlock here so if we click you can see it is uh, it can toggle in between the padlock and this eye so let me see what we are going to do now 
so i think they have a lot of space in between the icons and the input so i'm going to format my code and the other thing let me check here if i have this margin here i'm going to just remove it i think so i'm going to change this to just margin top i think and then if i come back again here now you can be able to see that actually i think uh, let me see so i think that is not the way we should do it so here i'm going to add um, margin top and then also we are going to have margin margin left just that would be 10 percent 10 percent i think this will be okay so let me see yes i think that will be okay also i want this uh, to be having uh, item to be center it's in the center i don't know why i we don't have like um it should be aligned at the center but if it is there okay it can be we can just leave it like that so here if i you type you can see like you, you are not able to see the password but if you want to confirm the password when you click here also you cannot be able to see this so you need to do one one thing so that is to change this um to to text and uh, let me do that here so you need to just come here and uh, add uh, you can add this and then you can add it here if show show password if uh, it's true then it will be a type of text in this input but if it is not then show the password just like that and then this we should work now so if i come back here and then you can see now i can be able to see the password but when i toggle you cannot be able to see the password so you can see it here right here now so now the other thing is uh, we just have now to have the button so let me do that so after now we have this uh, div here we need to have a button so this button here just say login so login like that and uh, here i can be able now to have a class name and uh, i'm going to now style this uh, button so the first thing here that we have in our button here we are going to have the background color so uh, the, uh, that black color also the other thing is i'm going to have a width we are going to have a width of let's say 350 pixels and also we can have like a padding so a padding here should be a padding of 15 pixels and also we can have other things like a text should be white and also we can have fonts font to be uh, have a semi bold so this is using tailwind and also we can have a text that is of 18 uh, font as a font size 18 pixels and the last thing that we are going to have is a margin a margin of uh, 10 percent i think so like that so let's see how it looks like so if i save this and go back here you can be able to see now we have this part here that we can enter the email we can enter the password and then we can be able to log in and also we can toggle here so that is it so i want also to create now the other page that where you'll be able to see your parcel so let's do how to do that i must first of all make sure that i log in so that you'll be able to see how that looks like so here i had already prepared the password and uh, email so let me do that so i'm going to use my email here and also i'm going now to paste my password here i have my password right here so let me copy this password copy that and uh, here i'm going to paste it and you try login so you can be able to see now i'm able to log in so this is where as a as a user you'll be able to see your passes so when you log in you'll be able to see the passes that have been delivered and uh, passes that are pending so let's do that so let me just go back to my code here and also make sure that i go to that um, part so i'm going to come here to my parcels as a page i'm going to also make sure that i just um, make sure that i cross my home uh, my login page so that we, we work on our parcels my parcels page so here also i need to go to that uh, route so 
let me just add here my parcels my parcels just like that and we'll be able to see now this page that is called my parcels so in my parcels now we need several things so let's go back here so you can see here first of all we need this icon from react icons so let me just install that so here i'm going to open a new terminal here to let me open a new terminal here and uh, to do that now on the type now the uh, react icons in pm install react icons the I react icons just like that so let me do that and also i'm going now to import it very simple so i'm going to come here after it have finished installing i can be able to come here and say because i want this icon here you can be able to see this icon here so here i'm going to come here and uh, say import now this i'm going to import from now react icons you can be able to see here and then slash fa and uh, here i want some icon so this icon i'm going to call it uh, f user just like that and then now we are going to use it inside here so let me remove that text i'm going to push this down so let me push it like that so that we can have a space where we can work in so let me do that so here i'm going to have um this div and inside here also we are going to have another div that will be holding let me show you we'll be holding this part here so let me do that and then here because you can see it is at the end here so let me do that so here uh, what i can do is that i'm going to come here and say class name first thing and uh, here i can be able to add flex and uh, also we are going to have items at the end yeah like that and also we are going to have justify to be end and then also we can have margin right margin right to be 20 percent and then also we can have margin top to be 10 percent 10 percent like that so let me just come inside here and uh, what i can do let me first of all format this and then now inside here i can have now the icon so yeah let me have the icon so far user so it's not see far user so far user far user like just like that and also we can have a span here or an, a text just i'm going to just write the name here so alok mondala or even james k so here i want to make sure also that i style this so class name and uh, here i can have margin right to be at least 10 pixels 10 pixels so that we are having space between the text and the icon so if i come back now here you should be able let me just uh reload and i cannot be able to see now the icon and the text i don't know why i think it's because that i have not indicated or have not given uh given them like uh, a certain uh like a certain let's say a color so let me just come here and uh, add so the color here the text here should be white let me just do just make sure that i do this so let me just see again yeah can be able to see now you can be able to see it here so um and then i also i need to change the name here to a lock mondana so then again i think uh, we can have uh here let me see i think it's okay but i need i think we can give it a font size so our uh, text here font size so font to be semi bold semi bold like that so let's see that so if i come back here you'll be able to see yeah have this uh it should be having as a bold but if you if it is not working uh, i think it's because i have not saved so yeah you can see at least it's taking 
some shape so here this is where we need to display now actually this one i think it has gone to alpha so i think uh, some things that i can change here is that for example this uh, margin top here it should be like let's say three i think so i think that would be okay so let me save i think i have not saved this like that so yeah i think uh, let's do five i think so five percent here so this is five percent like that let me see i think that would be okay so yeah just do that so here i think when we click here we need to be able to to see like if uh, you click here you need to see this uh just this uh, pop-up here so let me do that so i'm going to first of all make sure that uh, i have also added here casa to be a pointer so casa should be pointer so that if i try and uh, hover over this place here you'll be able it will change to this uh, hand icon so here we need to change now we need to create another part here that we are going to call it or we are we need to have this uh, pop-up now to have this pop-up so if i come here and uh, do this you can be able to see this part so this is what we are we need to create now so to do that the first thing that i'm going to do is to make sure that i add here relative so that this one will be display relative or position relative sorry so here also i need to make sure that this will be in a div here so we are going to have a div here and uh, then the other thing is that here we need to have another div here just like that and this div because here we have relative this one will have it as position here we'll be having a position here to be let's say a uh, position here will be absolute so absolute like that and then the other thing that i'm going to have here is you can give a top here here we need to give a top of let's say 20 pixels so this one will be displayed according to the parent div so that's why you can see we are uh, we are going to position it where we want to show it because it should be above or it will be a position absolute to the parent div so now the other thing after this one we can have it have a right so right should be just uh we give it just zero also we are going to have a height of 200 pixels so 200 pixels a width so we need to have a width of let's say something like 250 pixels and also we can have a background color so a background color here of let's say hash d9 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 and then here we can have like a z index of um, let's say 999 just like that and this is because we want it to be above everything in that page so here also we need to have a just a shadow of xl so let's see so if i do that and come back here you'll be able to see that we have this here and uh, i don't know what is happening right there so let me just uh, because you can you can see that uh, in our project here now we cannot be able to see the text now so i think what we can do here is uh, we can style it here class name here we can add i uh, flex first of all and then items to be center like that so let's do that so yeah you can be able to see it there so now the other thing is uh here now you can see this so if we click here we should see this if we we click again it hide it so it hide it so here now inside we can have now the things that we want to do so for example we are going to have uh a list here so let's create a list so and then first of all make sure that i styled it so i'm going to have a class name here on this class name we can have the flex we can have flex to be column also we can have items to be center to be center also we can have justify here justify to be center like that and then also we can have 
margin top to be 10 pixels so 10 pixels just like that so again now let's come inside here and we are going to have a list so this list here we are going to have the first one to be all parcels just like that yes but i will need also to make sure that we style this so class name and uh, here we can have a uh, hover when you hover this should be change uh, should change the text so here we, we are going to give it have a text and then here we can have a bug uh, white let me just add it to be white when we hover over it the other thing is we need to give a margin y of um, say 5 pixels like that also we are going to have a cursor to be pointer cursor to be pointer let me see that now so if I come here, be able to see that it is inside here now. So let me also make sure that uh, I change this. So I'm going to, let me just see it here. Actually up here, we need to change this text to be white. And then we need to make sure that we add it in this div here. So in this div right here just like that so let me so that you'll be able to see now the difference here let me save this if i save this you'll be able to see now this one will be should be not should not be white so i don't know why it is not working the way i want so this is the here this is the text so this is the div so this div uh, i think it has been closed here and so let me try and save this yeah it is has been closed here so okay let me just uh copy this and paste it just uh let me see here so this one will be my statement or statements statements the other thing here that i'm going to have is that this one will be a logout like that as simple as that so if i do that now you can see here we have this text but i think this one should be we need to just make sure that this one will be having a different color so i'm going to have a text and then this text here we are going to give it a 555 just like that like uh, let me see if that will change yeah i think that's uh, kind of different and it's okay so i think now when you hover over them you'll be able to see that they are you can see like they are, are at least they look good or you can be able to see them so you can click here to log out but we want when you click here that's when you are able to see this uh, pop up here so i'm going to create that so let me come here and also create another here another variable and use state also state so here i'm going to have a um, state called open and also here will be set open we are going to have uh, it as a uh, false so here we are going to add false for uh, this one is use state sorry i need to make sure that i import use state yes uh, from react and then here this one will be false here we need to also have a um, a function that will be able to toggle so handle open just like that uh, this one will be just um, an arrow function so here we need to say set open and then this will negate now here open and then also the other thing is uh, we are going to use now open so let me just show you now what we are going to do here so now here yeah, i'm going to cut this until let's say here like that and then here we can have open and then uh, if it is open is true then we can be able to sh to show this and i don't know why it is giving me some error so let me see where the error is coming from oh and then here we have handle open so i'm going to come here to this uh, part here that holds the icon and the text so here i'm going to add on click on click and then i'm going to have handle open 
yeah so handle open and then that's i think it's okay now you can be able to see now the part here so when you click you can be able to see this and when you click again it is it is just toggle so now the other thing that we need to do now is that we need to create the other part so the other part that we are going to call it now or this part let me show you the part so this part that holds our text here or these are information about this um you can see this uh, text this part here and also we can have this also that has this my parcels and we need also to have these cards that holds the data for our parcel so let's do that so here let me start by creating a div so this div here will just make sure that we have this div and then this div here we have a let me style it so i'm going to have a class name and here we can have flex and uh, then again here we need to make sure that we and actually it's not a must that we have a let me have a part here then this one we can have as flex column just like that and inside here the first thing that we need to have is uh, now the text so that is my parcel or the heading so here is my parcel my parcel my parcels so now the other thing that we need to do here is uh, to make sure that we have uh, corrected this so this one is class name and uh, here we need to have um, let's say like a text should be having like a certain font size so the font size here we are going to give font size of 18 pixels also we are going to have a uh, text that we it's of a certain color so uh, d9 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 just like that and then the last thing that we need to have is a padding of uh, let's say 20 or uh, 20 pixels so 20 pixels like that so the other thing is now we can have the other part but before that i think we need also to make sure that we style some things here first thing we can give it uh, like something like uh, or you can just leave it so let me see how it looks so yeah you can see here it's uh it's, it's too far so here we need to give a margin so we can have like a margin and uh, this one is margin uh right so margin right of let's say 10 10 per 10 percent and uh, also we can have margin left of the same 10 percent or you can let's see how it looks like so yeah i think that's good and uh here now so let me see now and uh, here now we can have another so let me just come here so here we are going to now create the card that holds our parcel information so to do that is very simple we are going to have a div and then these divs here we are going to have a, let me just make sure that i have a class name yeah we are going to give it them like a certain um uh, style so here we are going to have it to have a flex and then here we are going to have a justify we are going to have a justify content to be between and the other thing is uh, we are going to have a background color so this background color is d9 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 just like that also we are going to have a height of 150 so 150 pixels 150 pixels we are going to have a wind of uh, let's say 160 vw and then also we can have something like a margin of 20 pixels 20 pixels and a padding padding here of also 20 pixels i think so and then here we can have a cursor to be pointer just like that so let me see that if uh, yeah you can be able to see how it looks so also we can increase the length here to be 80 uh, if i 
want to also can have a width to be 8 let me see how it looks so that's very big so here we can have a to be 70 i think so and that will be okay yeah i think that's okay so now we need to have a text inside that so let me now have another div because if you check here in this project you'll be able to see we have this part and we have this part here so let me do that so inside here we we have a uh, we are going to have a an ordered list so first of all have a div so we are going to have that div and then this div has an ordered list so this an ordered list we are going to have a now at least inside here for example we are going to have from so here we can say from uh, something like ontario uh, ontario usa i don't know if there is a place called that also here we are going to have uh, another width here this here will be weight and then weight here we are going to have a weight of let's say 20 uh, 200 grams 200 grams we are going to have uh, maybe something like a date so date here should be maybe something like uh, today's date which is uh, 26 i think so uh, and june 2024 like that and then also we are going to have uh, like the sender so the sender here so the sender the send or sender name i think it's sender sender me add here like a capital yes so sender here will be just uh, like james do james do like that so we are going to have another div now inside here we are going to have now the other div so inside here we have a uh, different thing so i'm going to make sure that i style it first of all so here we can have the flex and uh, flex column here we need uh, this one is flex column sorry so here we need to have a span and then here we are going to have a two so to the place where it is going to be sent to so here is uh, we can say something like sydney sydney australia australia like that and uh, then we are going to have a button here that is showing if it is pending or maybe if it is uh, uh, let me just add here pending if it's pending or maybe it's delivered so let me start this so class name so this one we are going to have a background color of let's say something like uh, let's add a background color of uh, let's say 555 five, five. the text here should be white so white and then we can have the wind here to be 100 pixels 100 pixels the other thing that we are going to have is cursor to be pointer and also we are going to have a padding so a padding so a pad okay it should be inside this quotation mark so a padding um, padding of let's say five pixels like that so here let's see so if i come back here and uh, see here you can be able to see that we have information here but it has a text of white so what can i do here uh, what i can do here is that i can make sure that this one has a um, text let me add here a different text for example text where we have the text to be let me add hash 555 like that so if i do that you'll be able to see now the information here just fine so i'm going to paste it copy and paste it several times so let me just uh, make sure that i format this so i'm going to cut or copy from here until i think um, here i think so or oh, here yeah i think that's there and uh, actually no it should be until here so let me just copy here and then until here i think so so let me just paste it several times like that 
and then if I do that you'll we'll be able to see now these uh, cards here so you can see this one here this one here and I can change one of them here to be delivered so let me just come here and uh, change this to have a background color of green so you can change here to be this one and uh, again we can also change this to be delivered so let's see that how it will look like so let me save that and then yeah you can see yeah it look it looks nice so if i come here now I, the next time or the next video we are going to make sure that you can go to all parcels also you can log out and then also you can be able to see uh one parcel if you click here you need to or if you come here you need to to see now that one parcel so if you click here you go to detailed um parcel detailed page so that is it i don't want this video to be longer than this thank you for coming those this far also make sure that you have subscribed to this youtube channel and uh, like this video so that also it may reach many other people uh, please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time i upload a new video see you in the next video have a great day